Hello. Welcome. Here we have a Commodore 64 connected to a monitor with a 1541 disk drive. It comes up typically with this blue on blue. And that's what it does. If you don't like that, even if you're brand new to a Commodore 64, do this. You cannot hurt anything. Listen to my words. Don't worry if you can't see everything up here. If I want to change the border color, I poke in, th sorry, type in this command, poke, five, three, two, eight, zero, and I can do a black, zero. See, that's all one thing, P-O-K-E, five, three, two, eight, zero, comma, zero, and then you hit the return key. Look, it turns black, the border is black. And then, if you want the... the screen color to also be black, you type in poke, P-O-K-E, yes, poke, five, three, two, eight, one, comma, zero, and you hit the return key. And that is that. They're black. Now, that doesn't necessarily look great with those colors there. There's nothing I can do about what's up there, but if I now press the control key and press, that's the C-T-R-L key, and press the number two, the cursor changes to white, and that might come up a bit nicer than looking at the blue on blue or the blue on black. It just might. So, if you've never used a Commodore 64 before, do not worry. This will not hurt anything. You can poke things. Poking puts a certain location into a certain place, and as I have illustrated, Poke 53280, comma zero, and poke 53281, comma zero, will change the screen colors to black. If you feel like experimenting, go for it. You can go basically from zero to 255. That is the magic of the 8-bit world. Welcome to your time on the Commodore 64. And that is all I have to say about that.